What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, today I've got a subscriber story that was sent in about this dude's house who we went to which had like the nastiest gaming setup of all time. Just putrid gross. And uh, I figured it would make a good video. You know, sometimes gamers bring shame to the little community we got going on by just not knowing the word hygiene. It can be pretty embarrassing. I guess some neckbeards just really want to be living in like a roast infested dungeon. Like just roaches everywhere, man. They want to be able to step on a Lay's chip when they get out of bed in the morning. And uh, yeah, this is one of those story times that kind of hurt to read, so I figured I would share it with y'all because I know it'll be cringe-inducing and uh, it should be pretty fun. But before we get into it, be sure to press the like button, otherwise no joke, no scam whatsoever. Your mom will turn into a hoarder and you will have to live in a roach infestation. Not worth it, not very swag, trust me, so press the like button. Alright guys, so the main character of today's story time is uh, named Manny, and Manny was a pretty cool guy, he had pretty cool parents, but one thing that his parents would make him do that drove him absolutely crazy was like, they would make him hang out with the kids that didn't really have any friends, you know, so that way they would like feel like they had people that were able to come over and whatnot, you know, trying to force him to be nice. They would basically guilt trip him about like, they're so lonely, you know, blah, 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 blah. You need to hang out with them. And yeah, sometimes there was definitely situations where the kid was just shy and Manny being friends with them, like definitely helped him come out of their shell. But we all know that there's sometimes kids are lonely because they kind of deserve to be lonely. You know, they might just be a little weird or, uh, you know, bite people. Like there's plenty of reasons why certain kids might want not want to hang out with like a certain kid. Whatever, one day he's chilling at school and this kid named Eugene invites him over. And the best way that I can describe Eugene from like the vibe of the story time and the way he's described is basically a real life Cartman from South Park. Just like this stinky kid obsessed with electronics who just was, you know, thinking he was better than everybody, just had a massive God complex, was really rude. And one day, nobody else would really want to hang out with him. He asked Manny to come over because Manny kind of had a reputation for being friends with some of the, like, stranger characters. And Manny literally was like, ah, nah, I can't. Lied to his face because he really wanted to avoid it. And Eugene kept inviting him over and over and over and over, and he would always deny it. But then one day, Eugene ended up asking his mom to invite him over, and then Eugene's mom called Manny's mom. And once that happened, it was just unavoidable. His parents were like, you need to go hang out with this kid, you know. His mom said he was so excited, so you can't disappoint him. And he tries to tell his parents, like, please don't make me do this. The reason nobody wants to hang out with Eugene is because he's mean. Like, please don't make me go. Please don't make me go. But sure enough, no matter how much he begged and argued to, like, not go have to do this, one morning he's in the car on the way to Eugene's house. Like, they didn't really care what his explanation was. They thought he was just being ridiculous. And even in the car, he's still protesting. He's like, Dad, please don't make me go. Like, I really don't want to do this. And his parents just don't really care. And he gets there, and uh, the door opens, and Eugene's mom is standing there. And it is not what he was expecting at all. Keep in mind, Eugene is like this insanely rude kid who had a reputation for smelling horrible, was just mean, a know-it-all. And his mom standing in the doorway was just like an absolute angel, dude. She was the sweetest lady. She had baked fresh cookies, so like the smell of cookies was in the air when he walked through the door because she wanted to make sure it was comforting. Like, was just being incredibly nice to him, you know? So his dad drops him off and kind of gives him a look like, see, you got nothing to be worried about. And for a second, Manny is like, hey, maybe this won't be that bad. Because he's hanging with Manny's mom, or Eugene's mom for a couple minutes, sorry. And they're having a good time, and as they're sitting there, bro, he hears stomping come down the stairs, and he looks over, and Eugene comes down the stairs, and Manny says, hi, and Eugene, without saying anything to him, walks over, doesn't look at his mom, and just grabs Manny's arm and starts dragging him towards the stairs, not saying anything. Which, you know, is just already, like, insanely rude, bro. You know, you at least gotta say something before you start, like, dragging somebody some there. He doesn't say hi, he doesn't, like, do anything, just instantly to oh, follow me, 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 caveman. So, whatever, Manny kind of pulls his arm away and is like, dude, what are you doing? And Eugene looks at him and, like, gives him a dirty look and kind of sneers at him and is like, do you want to come game with me or not? Like, uh, I don't know, man. That's kind of a weird thing to ask. You could have just asked if I wanted to come play video games and I would have followed you. You didn't really need to, like, grab my arm and drag me. So Manny grits his teeth, realizing that, like, it's just the start of the day and he kind of just has to deal with it. 
And he's like, yeah, sure. He thinks maybe if they go play video games, which, you know, Eugene is obsessed with, that he'll chill out a bit, get distracted, and, like, won't really talk to him too much. And it's a pretty big house, and they're walking through the house, and Manny is, like, impressed by how clean this house is. Every surface has been, like, dusted. It smells good, bro. It's like she's been using pine saw on everything. It smells delicious. And, you know, the state of the house is, like, really impressive to Manny. It's not that his house was dirty. This was just a crazy clean place. But as they start to get towards Eugene's room, you know, like, uh... It starts to smell a little bit different, a little bit more stale, a little bit like a hot garage full of garbage and like rotten meat. And Eugene kind of walks up to this door and he opens it. And when he opens the door, the room behind it is just filthy. There's like literally piles and piles of trash everywhere, like not even in bags, but like imagine like an Uber Eats bag still full of food just sat there with like another one on top of it and then another one on top of that and then another one on top of that. The floor is covered in clothes, you know, um, and listen, like I've had laundry on the floor. I think everybody has done that at one point or another, but this isn't even laundry, dude. Like these clothes have been there so long. They're basically a part of the carpet. They're all stiff, you know, they're like, you know, when a piece of clothing looks stale, I'm describing that and I'm just really going to hope that some of you know what I mean, but like when a piece of clothing looks stale, it's just nasty and they're covered in stains of like eight different colors. It's not like, you know, one stain where, oh, he spilled some ketchup on his shirt. It's like, like, oh, there's some ketchup, there's some mustard. Like, he had just kept wearing it after, you know? And when he realizes the state of the trash stacked up, it, like, blows his mind. It's not even like there's just a little bit of trash, right? It's literally a waist-high pile of trash in the room. And some of it is just still full of food. Like, it's just rotting, just rotting, nasty, old food that's been sitting for way too long. And it literally, like, almost makes him gag. Which, uh, is not exactly the best tone to, like, set friendship for, you know? It's never like, hey man, I can't wait to be your friend sitting around this rotting food. And obviously this was not what Manny expected, considering the rest of it was, like, so clean. And as I said, he had gagged a little bit, but when he fully, like, gets a big, like, breath in of the smell of the room, it literally makes him start dry heaving, you know? Like, literally, he thinks he's gonna have to puke. So he asks where the bathroom is, and he starts running to the bathroom, thinking he's about to throw up. That's how nasty this guy's room smells. And Eugene gets annoyed at him for, like, having to puke, dude. He's like, ugh, quit being dramatic. It's not that bad, dude. Listen, man, I would be so embarrassed if my room smelled so bad that, like, when somebody came over for the first time, they literally gagged and thought that they were going to throw up and had to run away from me. Nah, Eugene, though, not even a shame. Just go straight to, like, ah, dude, this guy's being so dramatic. How annoying is that? So, regardless, man, he doesn't puke. He kind of calms down a bit. And uh, he decides to just go back into Eugene's room for some reason. At that point, I probably would have been fed up and done. Most of you guys probably would have too. But, like, he decides, hey, whatever, I I'll give this guy a chance. And he walks in and literally all of the trash, all of the clothes all over the place, there's only, like, one clear spot. And it's just a spot with his chair in it where he sits and plays video games. And Eugene kind of gives him a dirty look and is like, just clear a spot to sit down or something. And he just kind of sits in that spot. And so Manny is looking around and starts, like, using his foot to kind of push bags of trash away from the area so he can sit. And as he moves one of the bags of trash, like, 30 cockroaches start scattering, dude. And Manny, seeing these cockroaches scattering from under this bag, starts to gag again. And Eugene looks at him, looks at the ground, sees the cockroaches, and goes, Ugh, Mom, the cockroaches are back again! Like, again, bro? Again? As in, you know, you knew there was an infestation and still invited somebody over, dude? Like, uh, dude, I've had a really bad cockroach problem in my room. There's still trash everywhere. Better invite somebody over. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? That's just cruel, dude. This is basically just, like, subjecting somebody to cruel and unusual punishments. He really hit him with the, yeah, I got roaches, come on over anyways, dude. That seems like a huge no-no to me. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to expose somebody to a biohazard, like nuclear atomic testing levels of weirdness going on in this guy's room. Anyways, Eugene is still screaming for his mom, saying that there's roaches, and Eugene's mom ends up coming into the room just looking absolutely horrified. Like, just absolutely just embarrassed. She's literally beat red, looking horrified. 
But instead of being embarrassed and screaming at Eugene and being like, why did you not clean this up? I told you to take care of this. Why is your room this disgusting? She just kind of stands there and Eugene starts attacking his mom for some reason, like yelling at his mom as if this is her fault somehow. He starts saying that his mom is an idiot for not cleaning this up entirely and like, you know, saying that she's got to be blind and stupid if she didn't see this. Just like absolutely going in on his mom for his room being disgusting. Yeah, bro, it's your mom's fault that you're this nasty and you can just live in waist-high garbage and just like not notice. Like, oh yeah, that's, that's your mom's fault, bro. Screw your mom. And he just starts laying into her saying that like he shouldn't have to fix this crap and you know he's the kid and it's her responsibility to take care of this and if she's too much of a moron to take care of it then she shouldn't have let him invite Manny over. And while he's doing all of this Manny is just standing there bro like it's already the worst to be at somebody's house when they start fighting with their parents it's incredibly awkward you know you're just kind of like uh okay well um I'll just stand here I guess. Now imagine when you're watching this dude tear into his parents, like, because he got roaches in his room. It's just gotta be the most awkward feeling to be standing there observing this, not being able to say anything about it. But the wildest part about all of this is that, like, his mom just does not seem phased at all. It was almost like she was used to this. She was just, you know, used to getting yelled at by Eugene, used to being blamed for stuff that wasn't her fault. Which is the worst, dude. You know you're not a good parent if your kid starts blaming you for everything they do wrong. And you're like, yes, honey, yes, I, you're right, you're right. I should, like, I, I should chop off my leg because I can't run fast enough. Like, okay, your kid's not always right. But it gets to the point where she starts apologizing to Eugene for some reason. That's right, dude. His mom is like, you know, you're right. I'm so sorry. I, I tried to take care of it. I should have taken care of it more. And I'm so sorry that I disappointed you. You know, please don't hate me. Like this mom is begging her kid not to hate her because he didn't clean up his room, bro. And Manny literally can't believe what he's seeing at this point. Like, he's just kind of sitting there stupefied, not knowing what to take of it, because it just doesn't compute. Like, none of this is adding up. It's like a math equation with an unreal number. And then Eugene just goes, Ugh, well, you're gonna clean this up today, and we're gonna hang out in your room. Do you understand? And his mom is like, yeah, I understand, I understand. You know we have game consoles in there. And Eugene just kind of starts dragging Manny over to his parents' room, and he slams the door and starts, like, apologizing to Manny, saying, I'm so sorry about my mom, I know she's so stupid, like, what an idiot. And Manny kind of starts to defend Eugene's mom, and he's like, well, it's not her room, dude, you probably have a little bit to do with cleaning it up, too. And when Manny says that, dude, Eugene looks at him like he just slapped him in the face, like, literally looks at him like he was a murderer. He could not believe the words that just came out of his mouth. Alright guys, I'm gonna interrupt the video for just one second. If you take a look at the screen now, you're gonna see a gift card. For those of you that don't know, I give away a gift card and every single video I post here on the channel is a way to say thank you to you guys for subscribing and turning on those notifications. So, uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. I post every day and, uh, you know, I give away free money so you got nothing to lose. Other than that, if you already are subscribed with notifications on, then big, big thank you. I appreciate it and I'll shut up and get back to the video. Thanks. Anyways, Eugene is all pissed off and he looks at Manny and he literally says, You clearly did not witness the same thing I did if you think that my mom isn't an idiot for what just happened. And Manny asks him to explain, like, okay, well, how is it your mom's fault? Like, dude, that was your room, it was your mess, how is that your mom's fault? Is it your mom that's hoarding garbage in your room for some reason? And Eugene kind of has this moment where, like, he processes what he's saying and realizes that, like, ah, crap, I really don't have a good explanation as to how this is my mom's fault at all because it's my room and clearly I'm the one, like, hoarding garbage in it. So he just starts screaming at Manny that he didn't see everything and he's an idiot and uh, you clearly haven't been here the whole time, da 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 just repeating that type of stuff about how Manny just doesn't know the entire story about how his room got cockroaches. And he starts explaining that it's his mom's job to keep the house clean and his mom was just an idiot who couldn't do her job. And Manny just like stands up and is like, all right, dude, that's enough. And just starts laying into Eugene, saying that he's filthy, he smells bad, obviously can't keep his room clean and he just can't blame his mom for everything because like it's still his fault too. 
and listen, obviously it's mean, but yeah, you kind of deserve it, dude. Like, you're screaming that it's your mom's job to keep the house clean, so therefore you don't have to do anything. You can have cockroaches and do nothing about it just because, YOLO, it's your mom's job. Like, okay, bro. That's the same type of logic of people that purposely litter because, like, oh, there is a janitor. It's like, yeah, but their job isn't to do that, dude. Like, that just kind of is rude. And anyways, he's laying into Eugene, and it's obvious from the way Eugene and his mom interact that, like, no one has ever stood up to this kid in his life before. So Eugene is just kind of standing there and, like, not really knowing what to do. He's almost slack-jawed at the fact that someone's standing up to him. And afterwards, he just kind of stands there, and he's, like, raging, trying to say or, like, figure out something to say. And you know the type of rage when someone's just like, mm, mm. he's kind of doing that, and he's like, well, you, you can get out. You better get out because you're an idiot. You're just an idiot, dude. I'm, you're so stupid. Get out. Get out. And Manny stands up, and he's like, okay, fine, I'll get out. Like, duh, I mean, fine, at this point, I don't really want to be here anyways. And as he goes to leave, remember, they're in, like, Eugene's mom room. He opens the door, and Eugene's mom is right there. And instead of, like, being grateful to Manny for standing up for her, or, like, you know, being uh, a little bit happy about the fact that somebody told her son to keep his room clean, she starts yelling at Manny, which is like, what, what is happening? And she starts saying that it's, you know, it's her fault, it's not her son's fault that the room was a mess because obviously it was her job to clean the house and if she wasn't doing that, then that was on her. And Manny is confused by that because, like, he's like, uh, uh, what? Your, your son's room is filthy. If it's your job to clean it, then, like, y yeah, I guess you're doing a bad job, but it's because he screams at you whenever you go in there and try to clean it. He's like, I just don't understand how this isn't his fault. He's not arguing with his mom, but he's thinking, like, okay, uh... I'm so confused on how this is not his fault, but fine. Like, he just, he's just not following, bro. He's like, the rest of the house is clean. Clearly, you're fantastic at your job, even though it's messed up that they tell you that it's your job. He doesn't agree with that, but he's like, just he does not understand what's happening, bro. He just does not understand the situation in the slightest. It's just one of those things where he's just like, ah! And so he, like, uh, freezes up and he tells the mom, he's like, well, it shouldn't be your job to clean everything. Like, he says that, which is true, bro. It's kind of messed up if you're like, no, you have to clean everything. Me allowed to take massive dumps on the floor and you have to clean it. Like, that's just, like, that's just, come on, bro. Like, that's really not cool. And she says, well, get out of my house. You know, like, all right, well, if you're going to, like, scream at me for trying to defend you and tell me to get out, then fine. I'll just get out. So he just leaves. But the only problem is, like, he didn't have a phone at this point, so he just has to start walking home. And for some reason, Eugene's mom, like, doesn't call his parents and let him know that he's coming home early. They don't pass that message along. So he literally just ends up walking all the way home to the point where it takes, like, four or five hours to get there. And he tells his mom what happened. And his mom is obviously incredibly pissed off about it. So, you know, she calls and Eugene's mom confirms everything but backs up her son and is like, your son's the one who's in the wrong. And that obviously sets off Manny's mom quite a bit because it's like, dude, you're crazy. Like, you're absolutely crazy. But the one good thing of this situation and his mom being pissed off is she kind of dropped the whole you have to hang out with whoever we tell you to hang out with routine. Like, that basically ended after that, which he was very grateful for. All it took was one crazy person, like, kicking him out for no reason and making him walk five hours home after making him sit in a roach infestation. I'm sure his parents must have felt so guilty, bro. Like, especially after he begged them not to go. He's like, please don't make me go, dude. This kid is a monster. And they were like, eh, whatever. Only for him to have to sit in a roach infestation. Like, listen, my room has gotten messy. Don't get it twisted. I think everyone's room has gotten messy. But if it's to the point where you have, like, your own biosphere in your room and, like, you're l sitting and just sniffing rotting things all day, that's a problem, dude. How do you live like that, dog? Everyone's room gets messy. Everyone's had a little bit of a trash pile up, dude. But if you have, like, a, a whole colony of bugs living underneath your mattress, you just, you, you gotta clean up a little bit, man. It's getting out of control. Anyways, uh, he doesn't really like going to people's houses anymore, like, until he kind of knows their cleanliness factor, which uh, I think is fair, dude. I can't blame him for that, especially after you have a situation like that. It's got to be hard to, like, trust anybody when they say, no, my house is clean, bro, trust me. Yeah, dude, I've heard that before. <laughs> I really have. I really have. I, I'm not trusted it. 
Anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the video. I would really, really appreciate it. And, of course, subscribe and turn on those notifications. If you really want to support me and uh, you like G Fuel, if you use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout today or tomorrow, it's actually 30% off. If you use it any other time, it's 10% off. So yeah, if you want a massive discount on G Fuel, head over there and use code SCRUBBY. Other than that, I do have a podcast called The Scuffed Cast, which you can find a link to in the description. And if you take a second to look at your screen now, you will see the coolest merch to ever exist in the history of the planet. Yeah, that's right, the 2 million subscriber collection, which is pretty cool if you ask me. And uh, you can find a link to that in the description too. On that note though, guys, that'll do it for the video. Don't get anyone pregnant if you do. Make sure they're hot. I'm gonna go clean my room now. Just, uh, just like be safe. Don't get anyone pregnant if you do. Make sure they're hot. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.